Okay. Now I'm going to be taking a look at a figure that is incredibly remarkable to me. Um, I picked him up at the Walmart today. He's part of this build set with these different figures. Um, he's very, very special to me. In fact, I actually have an origin comic of him, and I, I think that might actually be kind of rare. I don't know. Um, now, uh, the, okay. I've been doing some teams since I was like six, so I've always been into Aquaman. Once I found out about him, he's my favorite character. Went to Walmart today. And they had this guy, Aquaman. The Ocean Warrior Aquaman. I don't give a crap about his name. Holy cow. Um, I was comparing my comic book to what the sphere looks like. It's amazing how much detail and time and effort they must have put in the sphere. I know I'm rattling on, but still. Um, he's found abandoned. Well, here, I'll just tell you how it happened in the comic book, so he's found sitting inside like a, 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 a oyster, I believe, whatever they call the things that carry, uh, clams, uh, you know, pearls, whatever the things are that carry pearls. Um, it, his mom, his original mom was like a, a fellow Oren, because he's a prince, he's a prince, and so, um, the, the Arthur guy, who's a lighthouse guy, he, divor he divorced her, and then he has, he, um, married a, another lady that's kind of like a old school teacher, scary lady, and, you know, not very nice, not very happy lady that had a son. Well, he was a good kid, he was saving people, like, he always went swim meets, which is why I kind of like him, um, but his brother went away from him, went away from that. His brother didn't feel accepted by the family so his brother fought against him so um i'm not i'm not i'm just gonna show you this figure um he first um he's part of the justice league um first appearance was more fun comics number 72 november 1941 his real name is arthur curry or Orin, occupation, water barrier of the secret sea, former monarch, base of operations, Poseidon's special abilities, breathe underwater at incredible depths, super strong, swims at tremendous speeds, communicate and controls undersea creatures. Now, there's one thing a show called Smallville did, and they had it where he can make like air balls and like shoot them at people with his hands. I like that version. Plus. One thing that would be cool is his hand that has the white glove in the comic book it turns to a blue glove, which is like stronger. That'd be cool if they had a switchable hand. But you know, that figure can only go so good. Um just like this kind of reminds me of a whale, but just look at this figure. I'm slowly rooting. They got everything down. The the coloring the exactness, the way, everything, and on his head, the face, it has this, cause, cause he's underwater, so it has this look of someone that was just, they, they just died underwater, like, they just held their breath, and, basically, it has a look of a person that's holding their breath underwater, trying to slowly die. Because, you know, he breathes in water. I'm not trying to say that like a bad thing. I think it's actually cool. I also think it's cool how his brown, yellowish hair, which might look weird on the camera, but looks like he's, like, swimming. Like, it's kind of flowing backwards. And he might look older, but he kind of has this young, old look to him. And he, he's just remarkable. He's amazing. Like, I mean, holy Poseidon. And now here's his spear javelon theme that he comes with. Um, starfish, crystal, um, this is supposed to be in resemblance to a shell. 
You can just see how that's like a shell and then like that's that sea and above it, I believe. Maybe representing how Atlantis is under the sea. I'm not sure. Um, this isn't your... This isn't like a basic weapon where it's just gold. This is something that like would take time and effort. Um, articulation. The head can rotate 360 degrees. Be able to look up and down and kind of get these wow oh, wow oh, oh, heads. Um, arms rotate 360 degrees. Move out. And then um, at the lower point of the shoulder, they rotate 360 degrees. Um, let me bend the back. Okay. His elbow bends, and then his wrist rotates 360 degrees. Bends at the waist, which you can even see how this paint kind of gets... Like, it looks like it's moving inward when he moves his chest down. That just looks cool, because I've seen figures that have tried to do that. And it doesn't work. Um, the waist rotates 360 degrees. Legs can move forward, back, out, both at the same time. The lower part of the thigh can move um, 360 degrees, bends at the knee, and the ankle can go upward and downward. Um, main color scheme on this figure is black, white, tealish aqua color, a darker kind of blue. Put that all together and you have remarkable. Um, his hands, like some of the other figures, they're just a little bit bigger unless you put it on the line part. So, like, right here, it will slide around. But, if you put on this guard, like, it looks like he has a hand guard. You can have him holding it. And put this up here. And, you know, trident of Pos Poseidon or something. I don't know. I've always liked Poseidon. Like, it, I don't know. I've, I've always been into that kind of mythology. You know, so very very awesome I give this figure 14 billion trillion quillion out of 1 or out of 5 I mean God. Um, um, the, the build of his figure he comes with is Atom Smasher um, basically all it is is just torso so articulation boing it's kinda like veggie tails or like to walk it's like dink Dink, dink, kind of hops. I don't know. Um, yeah, new new line, I believe. Um, I, I believe it's a new line. Jay Feelgood, you need to pick this figure up. He is awesome. This review is to you. That's right. It's to you. That's right. Special review I'm doing for you and for YouTube and for everybody else. So. She looks, and I give this figure, you know, so many awesome stars that she can't even count it. Um, the box label art has, uh, what should we call it? First you see a big Barbara lifting up like a tank. You see Aquaman flying under, going underwater. And then you see Flash Gordon and Kid Flash versus, um, uh, Dr. Freeze, I believe. And then you see Booster Gold and his female robot thingamajig. And he's, like, punching air. And then you see Captain... Adam, Adam, whatever, Adam, I believe his name is, um, where he looks like he just, um, grew, and there's, like, a bunch of gangsters, and they're like, oh, no! So, amazing figure. I, I do recommend him. He's the kind of guy that's, like, I don't know, he, he, if, if I can only pick one word, I can just try to describe him, I wouldn't say amazing, I'd say God. And I can tell that they use an excess amount of paint on here because when I was taking the figure out of package, there's actually like a, a piece of paint hanging off of here. And that, that's not like chip paint or anything. It was like dangling off of there and I, I, I carefully removed it. Oh, okay, I pulled at it and it didn't affect anything. So they did awesome on this figure. I recommend it. You should pick it up. Um, yeah. So overall picture of what you're going to get is open. I shall leave you with this awesome picture.